and an AccuWeather alert. Chaos in New Jersey as raging floodwaters toss cars around and leave people stranded. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sandra Pope, and Joe Torres has the night off. New video tonight shows just how severe the damage was. In Totowa, people were forced to wade through thigh deep water. Some drivers tried to push their cars to higher ground. In Fairlawn, firefighters had to rescue a motorist who suddenly found his car submerged, and the problems, well, they didn't end there. Eyewitness News reporter Danielle Lee joins us live with a look at the severe damage left behind in Woodland Park. Danielle? And Sandra, it was just an hour ago that the road behind me was completely underwater. And take a walk with me. The floodwaters didn't stop there. They kept on going right up onto the sidewalk. And if you look into the front door of PNC Bank, you can see some water damage in there as well. We're told that this flooding all began closer to US 46 and with nowhere to go, just spread out into other areas. Oh my God, they went under. Like a water edition of Destruction Derby, cars listed for sale swept away by heavy flooding. The Chrysler Jeep Dodge dealership of Little Falls, New Jersey, in crisis as car after car floated to its demise. It was. It was like a tsunami, literally. People on US 46 also stranded, forced to turn around. And the floodwaters didn't stop there, suddenly spewing out into Woodland Park, leaving streets, homes, and businesses underwater. I was scared. Sebastian Jackson was in target practice when empty cars fled their parking spots. It was actually literally loading away. Then the shooting range itself filled with water. They evacuated us through the back. We all had to put on bags and the fire department came in. Yeah. As the flooding spread, so did the chaos, leaving tow trucks to retrieve cars abandoned in the middle of the street. There was like cars everywhere trying to get through. They got stuck. They just stopped working. Maria Florio says she barely moved her vehicle to higher ground in time. Minutes later, her garage and basement had flooded too. Oh my God, basically it was like hysterics. Yeah, like you just didn't have time to be scared as much though because you were just like on adrenaline. A lot of damage and safe to say a lot of people are going to be filing insurance claims tomorrow. I did speak to an EMT out here along McBride Avenue and he said he was just shocked to see that there were more reports of people getting seriously injured with all of the flooding that we saw. A massive cleanup going to be underway tomorrow. Live in Woodland Park, New Jersey, I'm Danielle Lee, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Yes.